In this video, we are in Moho, working off of the copper rig once again. And here, we're going to take a moment to discuss how animation channels are recorded on the timeline. We touched on this briefly in a couple of videos as we were setting up the rig. However, let's be a little bit more explicit now with how these animation channels work and what to watch out for as you start to rig and animate. I'm currently on the bone layer, and what I want to do is come down here to the timeline, and we're just going to jump to, let's say, frame 12. Now that we're outside of frame 0, let's start by animating some bones. I'm going to come over here and grab the Manipulate Bone tool, and just come in and start to move this arm. You'll notice on the timeline, we now have a new channel recorded with keyframes. Right here is the bone angle channel, meaning that the bone angle is being animated on the timeline. More specifically, the red bone, which is the forearm right here, is also being recorded. And we talked a little bit about how the red and white channels work differently in a previous video. But anytime you decide to make a change using a different tool, you will record different channels of animation. So if I were to come over here to the eyelids and click on that, you can see that we already have some keyframes in place for this. And if we were to hover over with our mouse, we can see that this is the switch layer and we have keys enabled for it. Now, if I were to click on the eyelids and then hold down the control key, or command if you're on Mac and click on the bone layer, you can see now we have the ability to highlight both the bone layer and the switch on the timeline at the same time. And you'll see here that copper.psd is being labeled and then right down here are eyelids. But at the same time, we can see the two different channels, the switch channel and the bone angle channel on the timeline at the same time, allowing us to go through and edit both of these at once if we wish. But more importantly, as you can see, depending on what you're animating here, you will have different channels appearing. So if we come over here to the head warp, and we're just going to grab a transform point tool here and click and drag anywhere on these points, you can see now we have a point motion channel being recorded. And once again, if we wanted to select all these different layers, you can see now we have bone angle, point motion, and then switch layer. And as you continue to move along with animating and rigging inside of Moho, you'll find that all sorts of different channels can be created. And we could even do one more if we wanted to. So with copper selected, I could grab the transform layer tool here, and we could come in and let's just move the character with that layer tool. You can see now we have layer translation right down there. If we were to come in now and resize this, you can see even though we're using the same tool, we have a layer scale channel up here. And we also can rotate with this tool, allowing us to create a layer Z rotation channel as well. And because we're working on this one layer, you can also see we have the bone channel here. And like before, if we were to come in and just select different layers, you can see we have all sorts of different channels here appearing indicating the different animations we've put on the timeline. So this makes organization easier, it can make animating quicker, and in the end, it's overall a good idea to get used to what the icons mean, so that way at a glance you can see, oh yeah, there is a layer translation here, or my bone angles are being animated. 